All right, so I have a mechanics exam coming up, so I'm just gonna go through and do a whole bunch of mechanic problems. So this is 6.1, this is out of John R. Taylor's mechanics book. It is the um, big red book, it's the big red book. Um, so that's the ones we're gonna be doing. My exam's on six and seven, so that's what I'll be studying for. And yeah, so essentially what we need to do is prove this. So this is the shortest path between two points on a curved surface, and we're using spherical polar coordinates. So our L is going to be the integral of ds, and ds squared, so that's our line set segment here, that's going to be equal to dr, squared plus rd theta squared plus r sine theta d phi squared. Okay. Uh, there's also an r hat, a uh, theta hat, and a phi hat. But those are unit vectors, so when you square them, you're just going to get one. So I didn't include those. Um, so in this case, our radius is constant. It's not changing, so dr is going to be 0. So then we can say ds squared. Our line element is r d theta squared plus r sine theta d phi squared, okay? So taking the square root of both sides, and I'll go ahead and factor out an r. You're left with r squared d theta squared plus sine squared theta d phi squared. And obviously the r squared can come out. And then I'm gonna do something that looks kind of weird and I'm gonna factor out, and I'll make this a little bigger. I wanna factor out a d theta squared. And if I do that, this part will leave me with one plus, and then I'll still have my sine squared of theta, but I'll have d phi over d theta squared. Okay. And obviously d theta squared, that can come out as well, but I'm going to put that at the back end there. So we get 1 plus sine squared of theta. And this is the same thing as theta th phi the, just writing it in Newtonian uh, mechanics with Newton notation, theta prime, phi prime of theta, all squared. It's the same thing, just I'm not using Lambert's notation just because of the way the problem is. So I'll write it like that. D theta. And again, L is the integral of ds. So the r is constant. I can factor that outside of the integral. We'll go from theta 1 to theta 2. And then we're left with our 1 plus sine squared theta phi prime of theta squared. And then d theta. And that is exactly what they have there. So that's all you have to do here. So not too bad.